Hello guys, it is that time again, free transfer madness. We're on episode four now. I have another two guys for you. Um same one, you'll know one, you won't know the other one. Um let's get straight into it guys. If you know him, he is available on the computer game as well. It is Gooty, um ex Real Madrid. Great, great player. Obviously he's not for lower league experience if you're championship premiership, this guy once again. Um yeah, we'll just go into his stats now. He's 34, he's season. I mean, you're not going to get more out of him. Uh, may get two seasons, but he will deteriorate and he probably won't be that effective in the Premiership. Um, obviously, his passing is really good. Technique's good. I see him as more of like a Paul Scholes type player. Put him central and try and use him in an anchorman type type role. It's getting people to feed off him in that. Um, a lot of greens, a lot of greens there. Not a lot of pace, not a lot of strength. Stamina's not that good. I mean, I don't think he finished. I have to sub him out a lot of games. I mean, he doesn't finish a lot of them, but he does add to the team and he does help you score goals and also in defence. So, for the amount of time you can put him on the pitch, he's he's, he's worth the, the, the substitution. Um, I tend to play him in the centre. I don't really want to play him out of position. I think I've played defensive mid a few times just to see if I can make him... So you're going to get a bit more work out of him. But he does the job and it's gooty. I mean, if you're ex-Real Madrid and you're playing for any team, you're going to be probably one of the best in the squad. So, gooty, going to positions. You've got advanced playmaker, which is preferred role. As you can see there, is dark green. Um, natural central midfielder, accomplished attacking. Unconvincing everywhere else and awkward right wing back. <laughs> I'm guessing that's left uh, left wing back too, he's awkward. I don't know, he's unconvincing there. Yeah, uh, Alcon must be up front, up front. Yeah, must be up front rather than the right. Um, but sort of, he's central on the left player, so he can fit in if you need, if you, if he ha definitely has to. You think if you're desperate, but there's no need to play a guy that's out of position. Um, there's he's he's a good player, but obviously his age does kind of contribute to not being able to perform as good as maybe a younger guy with not as good stats, but. A bit more stamina so you can use him if you've got a game midweek as well um but yeah that one's gooey um before going next i i, I am kind of going through these quite fast because i've been watching back a few of these and they are really long and it's really annoying to watch so i'm just gonna i've wrote down a list here of all the facts that i want to tell you about and just, just try and drop them off straight away Um the next guy is a bit of fun bit of fun um league two league one bet square prem this picture isn't the best picture, I admit it's not the best quality, but he got a spider on haircut and you have to give man respect for that. This guy is called Baz Savage. Um, I have signed him before, but it wasn't in the first season, it was uh, on the old game and I think I paid out 10k for him. And uh, his, stats is, his stats aren't that good, I mean I admit they're not as good as some players I've shown you, but he is consistent at the level that I'm proposing you buy him for. Um, the championship he's going to struggle. Um, but obviously, I think if you use him up to that point, I think he will be able to play because obviously your team will blend together and that will help him. But um, he's well, well worth a look at if you're in, if you're starting in the lower leagues. Cause he's a very, very good player. Um, I think at the moment he'd be released by Tranmere. I think I, don't, I think he might be clubless at the moment. But he's a striker, as you can see, 29 years old. There's a few seasons in him. Um, but he is very, very good for League 2, League 1. Positions, he's a natural centre forward. You don't really want to play him anywhere else. Uh, target man, as you can see, I admit I use him as an advanced forward. Um, it's easier for me. I don't use target men a lot because I tend to focus on more shorter passing styles and just rather than Stoke, basically. <laughs> if you're Stoke, I basically play for Stoke. Um, but... I prefer the shorter passing styles and I don't really see the need in having a target man so he never gets to play his preferred role but he does perform um, well in anything I suppose. Um, I think he averages about 15 goals a season. I think he, the highest he got for me was 23 when I got him in the Bet Square Premiership. I mean I used Sugar Daddy to get him there so I got bored one day so I started using it. Um, 24 goals there. Um, it wasn't, he was about one of the best signs I made as well but um, 24 goals there. His wages aren't exactly cheap for that level. I mean, he does think highly of himself, but it will be well worth it, and I don't 
I don't think you regret buying him because he's he's a he's a natural goal scorer. Um, that one's Baz Savage and Gooty. I realise this has been a really really rushed episode, but I really ugh. some of my mates have been watching these and they've been telling me that they are really long, so I'm trying to just like cut down. Uh, comment what you think. I mean, I will more than happy to go back over these guys if like in the next episode if you think that I went just too vague, but I just really want to be getting these done so you can watch them and still learn something, but maybe not have me more on a bit, you know what I mean, going on and on. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, It is coming soon, okay, this is coming soon. Title domination will be done. I'm going to finish it tomorrow. I'm going to finish the first season with Zara Goals tomorrow, and I'm going to bring you the full update of the season. Right, definitely coming tomorrow. I will see you later, guys. Have a good one. I realise this is going on way too long again. Stay safe and I'll see you at Tell Elimination.